My name is Thorsten Norgaard. I'm a Danish photographer. I travel the world teaching photography and taking photos. Today I'm going to talk about workflow. In the last months I've been preparing the Capture One Survival Kit. And what is that? Well, it is a kit that is going to help you survive workflow. And if we track back the history, about uh, nine, ten years, I did uh, the Lightroom Survival Kit. Actually, first I had people said, can you do, as part of your workshop, can you do uh, one or two or three days about how to edit your pictures in Lightroom, which was the software that came with all Leica cameras at that point. So I did a couple of workshops and me and my assistant included, and all uh, 10, 12 people in the workshop were bored to death in a matter of hours. So I decided I'm never going to do a live workshop where we sit and deal with the workflow and software. I still have it as part of my workshops today, but back then I said, okay, I'm going to pack all this stuff into a survival kit. So that's like a booklet and some files and stuff that is very simple to use because it goes step by step how to set up a workflow, how to set up Lightroom, which tools to use, which not to use, and how to do backup. All the things, all this uh, big box of confusing things that you open up as soon as you get into a digital workflow, all that is contained in that, but it's made simple. So it's not a matter of how to learn to use a software, but it's how to get uh, your photography to floors so you can actually be out taking photos and you can go home and finalize them without having to spend a lot of time by the computer. So now I made the Capture One Survival Kit and it's the same philosophy and it is not a uh, tutorial in how can you do everything with Capture One. No, it's a tutorial in how can you do specifically the things that you need to do in Capture One. So why Capture One when we have Lightroom? Well, there's different reasons for that. One thing is that Lightroom is kind of, uh, well, we can say it's old software because it is. And now we have Lightroom, basically we have Lightroom version seven. And not much have happened in Lightroom since Lightroom version two. Just the speed have gone, been going up and down and they added a few features that you do, didn't really need. And it kind of gets complicated. And it goes on to a cloud. And I just don't like uh, any of those things. I want speed and I want simplicity. And Adobe is not really going in that direction. So that made me start looking, what else can I do? And one obvious thing was Capture One, because Capture One was originally made to shoot in the studio. So you have a live screen here, you, and you can even press the button on the screen. It takes a picture, you see the picture on the screen. Uh, that's what it was made for, and it was made for medium format. But Capture One, have slowly developed this software so it works for Sony, Leica and other brands. It basically works for any, anything but specifically for Leica and uh, Sony and Fuji they have done a lot of work and you say why would you then use that software? Well let me just address a few things in Capture One. The first thing when you open up Capture One it looks really complicated. The interesting thing is if you stay in, in Capture One for one or two hours, suddenly you see the simplicity of it and how elegant it's made. Part of that simplicity is to see that the things that you used to have in Capture One and still have in Capture One, how to shoot live in a studio, how to do this and that, you don't need that. And that's part of the survival kit. It says like, no, you need those three things and you just need these tools and this is how you use the tools. And that's basically what it's all about. So the thing that you will notice in uh, Capture One is or at least what I notice is I get less annoyed uh, sitting by the computer and editing for an hour or two or whatever I have to do. And one thing I really notice is I work faster and more intuitive. And that's really what I think a workflow should be. It's not about sitting by a computer and do tedious work. It's about how can I make pictures out of this. And this really works. What I did also with Capture One is I actually went to Copenhagen it wasn't that difficult because I'm from Denmark, so whenever I went to Denmark, I went to Capture One uh, in Copenhagen and I sat down and we went through how do I want my workflow and how can Capture One do that. And whenever I had something said, no, you should know this about Capture One, they had the possibility also. So it wasn't like that they were teaching me Capture One, but 
I was teasing, this is the workflow that I want, this is how I want to work with this because I do street photography and not studio photography. And how can I get Capture One to work that way? So that all the stuff we went over on several sessions or, or several months, and that's part of the survival kit. And then there's some extra things in uh, Capture One that uh, might be a bonus. And one of the things is that Capture One seems to keep more of the raw data from the file, meaning higher image quality. I don't know if you can see it or not, it doesn't really matter. At least it's not <laughs> worse, worse than uh, Lightroom. And also Light, you could say Capture One have some uh, different filters. So I have one guy in Copenhagen, he's a complete nerd, I met him. He's 100% nerd, I'm, I bet he dreams about Star Wars every night. <laughs> He's the guy who made uh, the film grain for Capture One. So Capture One has some fillers where you can add film grains. And it's like, I don't know, state-of-the-art film grains. If you're ever going to use them, you're probably going to appreciate it. So I have stuff like that. Or you could say, if you use Lightroom or Capture One, it's probably not a huge difference. So that's why I still make Lightroom Survival Kit and Capture One Survival Kit. So you can use both. And you could say that the biggest barrier in saying that if you use Lightroom for the last two or four years and you think now it kind of sits in the fingers and you can see, oh, it could be nice to use Capture One. Well, then that's where you use the survival kit because it's, set, it's made with checklists, how to set up Capture One, how to use it, how to get your workflow in there. So you don't have to learn everything and you don't have to know everything about Capture One, but you can just slide over and start using Capture One. That's the idea of it. And it's also the idea that if you come from film or somewhere else and now you want to get into digital workflow, then either the Lightroom Survival Kit or the Capture One Survival Kit are both set up. So how do you do this? So you get the type of pictures that you are used to from another software or from film in an easy way so you don't have to spend uh, months or years or lots of hours sitting and, and working with this stuff. So that's the whole idea and that's why I do uh, the Capture One Survival Kit. You can see below here there's a link uh, or a code, a coupon code, or whatever it's called, discount code. So if you go to Capture One and you buy or upgrade the Capture One, you use that code and you get a discount. So that's a little extra bonus. But I should point out that no matter if you take my Lightroom Survival Kit or Capture One Survival Kit, that's a guide to workflow and how to use the software. It doesn't include the software. So you have to go to Adobe and buy the cloud software, or you go to Capture One and buy the software download. And that's, by the way, one. Uh, essential difference between Capture One and Adobe is that Adobe now you pay, I call it a software tax each month to use the software. Capture One, you buy and download the software and when they upgrade you get an, you get an offer to upgrade for an upgrade price but it's your software so you don't have to upgrade, you don't have to stay uh, connected with it. So think about it, have a look at my website and study uh, the details about it and you can download it as anything you buy on my website. If, you don't, if you're not 100% satisfied, you can just ask for a refund and you will get it, no questions asked. That's all I had to say today. And in any case, go to my website, sign up for my free newsletter and you get a free ebook immediately. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.